Hi 607, so I am going to give feedback on some of the students who uploaded their work on Friday or the weekend. The others I cannot access at the moment because the school website is down for maintenance. Anyway, so let's have a look at this one. This is Johan's Bintan double page spread. So, okay, let's look at the images. Okay, there's a little bit of variety here. Could be more though. I mean, I'm looking at two images which are pretty much the same thing, which should relate to me. The topic is accommodation. So a bit more variety there would improve this, I think. Um, the other one is a beach scene, which is good. So you might consider replacing one of those accommodation images with something to show an activity or local cuisine or something to do with local culture. Okay, the next thing is about, I'm looking at the body text on the right with the blue background. I think that the spacing is a little bit close to the picture. I think you need a bit more breathing room. So I would recommend reducing the size, reducing the size of the font so you have a bit more space. Uh, just as much space as you have on the right side. In fact, that's another thing. I think the two columns there, they're not the same width, are they? So you want to um, make them even. Okay, have a bit more breathing room, left and right side. Okay, that by Johan detail, that has too much prominence in the layout. Remember, this is the purpose of this product is to advertise and promote that location, not to promote Johan or Mr. Watson or anyone else. Okay, so your name should be much smaller than the body text. And I would say, suggest just shifting it down close to the bottom of the page, not totally to the bottom. You still need some breathing room. Okay, um, so that's pretty much it. Think about replacing one of those images and making sure your body text paragraphs are even. Okay, with more breathing room left and right. Pretty much an even amount of breathing room. Okay, we're going to look at George's next his Greece poster. Nice, very nice variety to the images. So this is the kind of variety we're looking for. Some historical architectural features, some food, and beautiful landscape and seascape of Santorini, I'm guessing. Very nice. Okay, I like the font, the display font you've used. Greece, I think you could shift it over to the left a little bit. Tiny bit too close to the edge for me. Um, the word food, that subheading, I think that needs to be brought down in line with the top of the picture. Okay, the same as you've got culture. Culture is in line with the top of the picture next to it. You need to have that kind of spacing, the same kind of spacing, George. Okay, uh, that might mean that you're going to have to lose a sentence from your body text. I don't know, but um, either way, you want to bring that word food down a bit, okay? That would be my advice for that one. Not too much to do. Looking good. Okay, so Shreya, I'm going to scroll down to your products. I guess this is it. Oh, Shreya, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Shreya. Looks good. Very good, we've talked about this. I don't think there's anything that you need to do to this. Okay, Astrid. Okay. I like the pictures. They are pretty similar though, aren't they, in terms of content, in terms of what they're communicating. They're all kind of to do with the scenery. So I, if you have any different ones, food, local people, culture, um, okay, you could argue that maybe there's something to do with activities here, so boat, boat riding, you can keep those. But I think, you know, one or two other things would be, would improve this. Um, the text elements, okay, you've gone for bullet points here, I'm not sure that is the best approach. I think some, I think some, some prose, some descriptive writing is needed. Um, because you know you are trying to draw people into this location so you need to write some catchy lines 
that are going to help do that and also explain what we're looking at here in these pictures. Okay, those that would be my my main recommendation here. In terms of layout, it's okay. I mean, you've got three three columns. That's good. But I think uh, rather than bullet points, rather than bullet points, go for prose. Go for sentences. Okay. Okay, the next one is Ashwarya, Bali. Um, yours seems to kind of like be running over onto a second page. That's definitely not something we want to do. Um, I'm assuming using pages here, I'm not sure. But um, you've got quite a bit of realignment to do here. The title Bali needs to, I would suggest, is, needs to be much bigger. I'm not sure the black rectangle behind it is working. Um, I'd, I would be tempted to change the back color, background color from white to something else, maybe a gradient, or maybe you could put a, pic, a photograph in to fill the whole of the background. I think that would be much more eye-catching. At the moment, it's not very readable, this very pale sort of blue turquoise color that you've got here for the text. It's not very readable on a white background, but it would be on a darker background. So experiment with that. So bigger title, different background. Um, this arrangement with the, the column here, to me, it's not working. You have two choices. I would say either reduce the amount of text you've got in this top paragraph so it just matches the vertical height of the photo next to it. Um, maybe you could reduce the size, the width of this as well so it's in line with the other two. I'm not sure, but this is quite uncomfortable to look at where you've got it kind of scrolling around. Okay, that's not something that works. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the question mark's doing here either. Um, I think you want to have like one, you know, one consistent column down this right side actually, rather than have it scrolling around. So that's a fair bit of work to do there. The content of the images is good. Um, you know, a nice range of activities there. So change the change the title. Change the background, align the column, so it's all in one column. Maybe consider putting captions under the pictures, and definitely you don't want it rolling over onto a, a next page, okay? Next one, Ashwarya. Okay, this is your poster, Cebu. It's looking good. No issues with the title or the background picture. I think that works really well. You've got a nice variety of images there. I think your body text is a little bit big. Um, I think it could do with a look, making it a little bit smaller so that it pretty much aligns with the height of your pictures. Okay, Make sure it's all the same size as well. Just looking at this by eye, two of these paragraphs, the text looks bigger than the, the one here bottom left. So that needs readjusting. It needs to be consistent. Okay, okay next one is Shiv. Okay, we did talk, I did email you about this shiv. Um, quite a bit of colloquial here. I'm not sure whether people will get that. Ask some Australia, I don't know. Um, the font, the, the, the title font you've used is pretty unremarkable. I would consider thinking of finding something that has a bit more character to it. Okay, this is just kind of a fairly bland sans serif font. This paragraph I mentioned in my email. It doesn't really make sense. Um, I think you need some descriptive text here that kind of relates to the body text below it. Okay, these captions here, for me, I don't think that uh, capitalizing them and having them that size is good. I don't think it's appropriate. So I would make them lowercase or um, capital first letter, the rest lowercase, and also make them a bit smaller. So that they fit in the width of the image as well. This one here is kind of stretching beyond it. Okay, and ideally you want them to be a single line, I think. Okay, those are the main things. A fair bit to work on, but I do really do like the background and how it relates to 
the white text you've got in front of it. Um, yeah, it's good. Nice variety of images as well. Okay, Kabir, let's go down to yours. Or cutter. Okay, could for me it could do with a bit of texture in the background. It's kind of a bit plain. I wonder if you could put a, a texture. You've got some lovely fabrics here in this photo. You know, I think it'd be really nice if you had like a high resolution image of some fabric that doesn't have too much heavy pattern on it, but just put it in the background. I think it would like really help bring your layout to life. Um, I think I like the font. I think it could be made a little bit bigger and shifted up the page a bit and then bring this subheading up alongside it as well. Um, this spacing here is a little bit big for me. So I would shift this in a little bit. Uh, and I think you want a bit more space at the bottom as well. So a little bit of shifting and resizing. So bring the font Bring the title and the subtitle subheading up a little bit. Bring the rest of the elements up a bit. Bring these two um, body text paragraphs in together as well. Okay. Nia. Okay, Melbourne, Australia. I do like the hand scripted font you've got there. I think it could be bigger. Okay, I think it could occupy more space, much more space in this box. So see if you can bring it, I don't know, increase it quite a bit. Okay, so it fills the majority of that box. Australia can say the same size. The rest of it is looking pretty good. Just checking for spacing. I think a little bit more breathing room, like this bottom left side body text, it's a little bit close to the edge of the box and same here as well so a bit more breathing room on the left side and the right side okay and the last one for this part is Aritz okay I think we talked about this this is still looking a bit distorted this image it does look stretched this one looks stretched as well this image as well so um, but the clock is ticking, so if you can't, you know, address those, I understand that. Um, I do think these lines and spaces, where we can see, you know, this kind of like a dark line or a dark background maybe showing through. I think that is kind of uncomfortable for me to see that. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't make for a nice unified design. I don't think. Uh, makes it looks a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. So um, whatever's happening there, get rid of these lines, make make the background white or whatever it is if it, that's what's showing through. And also, you know, these the text is coming far too far down the page as well. You do need breathing room at the bottom of the page. You need more breathing room at the bottom than you have at the top. So. There needs to be probably a line of space at the bottom. So that might mean you need to edit the text content. Okay. Also, I'm noticing that your body text is not the same size. That is a you know a faux pas in graphic design. You need to have consistency here. Okay, you cannot have some fonts big, some small for the body text. It needs to be consistent, otherwise it just looks a bit chaotic. I wouldn't go for I wouldn't recommend going for centering your font either. It needs to be aligned left. Okay, and lastly, just as I said to Johan, I think, your name is not sort of um, you know the primary thing you want to communicate here. Okay, you want to understate it, so let's make this much smaller and don't put it bold either. Okay? You're trying to communicate this location. And promote this location. You're not promoting Eric Grover in this case. Okay, so that is my feedback for this group of students. I'll try to do the same with the next group once the school server is back up and running.